hi everyone welcome back to my channel i am ruan and it's so glad to have you guys joining me in another video today today i'll be sharing how i make my notebooks with my laminated covers now if you have not seen my previous video where i showed how to make these laminated covers hit that description link down below and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel to see more now the materials that you need for the project will be up on the screen so without further ado let's get right into today's video the first thing i did is punch out the holes on the lengthwise side of the paper and in order to get more holes lock number the second to last hole and pull out hole um, tab 10 and i just repeated this for all the pages now it was a lot of pages that i put into this book so i basically just punched some hair and then i punched the rest off screen because it would have taken me a little bit of time to do so that's what you guys are seeing me doing here right now And this is done using my cinch now the cinch is super easy to use once you get a hang of it all the instructions are on the front of the machine the next thing these holes are about 21 and I usually count out 21 on the binding coil and then I just placed it on the side because I'm going to put the paper now onto the binding coil so I am loading the binding coil by putting all of the pages first and then I will place the front cover right side up and then the back cover of the notebook wrong side up. And that's what you guys are seeing me doing here now so the next step is to remove it from the binding side and for this I will be using a one inch coil so I have set my machine to one inch and then I'm just going to put the coil into the clamping side that's what I call it and then I'm just going to press the lever and close down the coil in order to close the coil for the notebook A really simple process and basically after doing this your notebook is practically finished so I ensure that I have a good seal with this uh, because sometimes it still has a little bit of space so I clamp it down real good so that I don't have any problems afterwards and this is what it looks like And the last step for the notebook is just to flip that cover which I had placed wrong side up because I want it to now be the back part of the cover. So by doing this, I have locked the notebook and my notebook is finished. Super easy. I'm just going to give you a view of what it looks like on the inside. And basically this is it really really easy way to make notebooks so just showing you guys the back here where the notebook is locked so that's not going to go anywhere and it's just going to stay put so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video have a good one 